friends, Toy Daycare is open! Mama Z is here! Today we have Halloween inspired video! As you can see, we have the giant Play-Doh surprise egg filled with toys! But it's a plain black egg! And the reason for that, because I'm going to show you how I paint Sally from the Nightmare Before Christmas with acrylic paint on Play-Doh! We will need black, white, shades of teal and blue colors, as well as red, dark yellow, brown, orange and pastel pink. Let's add some colors to our palette. These are the main colors, but we're definitely going to be adding and mixing more colors. I have painted several Play-Doh surprise eggs with acrylic paint. The trick is not to use water. You will need some water to rinse off your brush and then wipe it nice and clean and try not to add any water to the paint while painting an egg. For Sally's skin, I'm going to mix teal color with some blue and some white. This color looks perfect. Using this color that we just created, let's go ahead and paint circle on top of our Play-Doh egg. As you can see, I'm not using any water. I have my dry brush filled with paint. This is our base coat, we are going to let it dry and we are going to paint it over with the second coat. The thing about Play-Doh is that when you add acrylic paint on it, it starts cracking pretty fast. You really need to try work fast. Looking good so far! We can go ahead and use the same color and paint Sally's neck and her silhouette. I was going to outline the shape of her arms because I want to draw Sally holding her rose but I decided that I'm going to paint her dress first and after that on top I'm going to paint her arms holding beautiful rose. Moving on to her dress, to make this cool tone of pink I mixed burgundy color with pink with a little bit of this teal color and white. Same thing, this is our base coat, we are going to let it dry and cover it with the second coat in a few. Using dark yellow color to paint this half of the dress as well as one of her sleeves. While waiting for this paint to dry, I'm going to use my dark teal color to paint her other sleeve. As you can see, paint is already cracking. While waiting for her dress to dry, I'm going to go ahead and paint her face on. I'm going to use this pale blue color to add shadow to her eyes and her nose.
biting her lips. Time to add stitches. Using black, I'm going to outline her eyelid and add lashes. Let's go ahead and paint Sally's arms. added too much of a teal color right here. This is why I'm going back and cleaning the area with this dark yellow color. Adding fingers and stitches. Next we are going to paint Sally's hair. Oh, this color looks so pretty. It's like brick red color. With a thin brush and black paint, adding details to the sleeve. Swirly details to the dress. And some black stitches. With the same brush and black paint, we're going to paint beautiful rose. Adding a little bit of green to the stem. And I think I'm gonna add some definition, some shadows to, to Sally's hair. All I did is just add a little bit of black to this red brick color. And our Sally, painted with acrylic paint on Play-Doh Surprise Egg, is done. I think she looks so cute. It's too bad though that acrylic paint cracks so super fast on Play-Doh Surprise Egg. But it's okay, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me painting with acrylic paint on Play-Doh. Click the like button if you think Sally looks adorable. And also if The Nightmare Before Christmas is one of your favorite Halloween movies, make sure to come back to Toy Daycare to see me opening this Sally-inspired Play-Doh Surprise Egg. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to Toy Daycare for more fun videos. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon. Bye-bye! If you like our videos, please like, share, comment and subscribe to Toy Daycare. 
Thank you very much.